More than 100 people gathered at Wesley Boland Plaza, all bonded together by the pain they share from crime. Now they're urging lawmakers to pass a series of legislation, one of which would bring Arizona's first trauma recovery center. Every person here affected by violent crime in some way now marching around the Capitol with the nonprofit Crime Survivors for Safety and Justice, hoping their chants reach the ears of nearby lawmakers. What do we want? Really? What do we want? Now. I survived being shot in the head by my ex on September 11, 2021. Vanessa Martinez from Mesa, among the survivors here, the woman who's miraculously speaking today, using her voice to urge policymakers to pass legislation to help people like her heal from the trauma she's endured. I was amazed to learn that there's a model of care that actually exists and provides free services to victims of violence. They want legislators to pass a series of criminal justice bills, including expanding probation credit opportunities for low-level offenders, and pass a $7 million funding for the state's first-ever trauma recovery center, an idea that has bipartisan support. Across the country, we've seen how trauma recovery centers can help countless survivors get services for mental health care to help and also help navigate the legal system. There's no way to overstate how much these comprehensive services offered by TRCs will change lives and save lives. It is a center for people like Martinez who suffers from PTSD. She hopes lawmakers pass the funding during this legislative session. Any assistance would have been a blessing and beneficial on so many levels if it had been available for my children and I. That bill for the Trauma Recovery Center has passed committee. We will keep you updated as it moves through the Capitol. In Phoenix, David Coltabiano for Arizona's Family. All right, David, thank you. Well, we